Hello, welcome to Lesson 8 of My World Illustrated. In this video, I would like to talk about the genus Rhizopus. Species of this genus can be found everywhere. They are frequently found growing on bread, fruits, and vegetables as a black mold. They can cause rotting on whatever they grow on. For example, strawberries, peaches, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, and pumpkins. After Halloween, they are the reason carved pumpkins collapse after a few days outside. There are a few structural features shared by species in the genus Rhizopus. 1. Hyphae are wide relative to other fungi and are not segmented, so they look like long tubes. It is because of this that the hyphae can transport nutrients and moisture pretty fast. That is why they grow really fast on perishable foods. 2. These ball-shaped structures at the end of these stalks are called sporangia, and that is where the spores are produced. Sporangia are simply defined as a cell that contains the spores of a fungus. For Rhizopus, young sporangia are white, but as they get larger, the spores, which are black, grow inside it and gradually turn the sporangia themselves black. Because of these spores grow inside sporangia, they have a special name, sporangiospores. 3. These long stalk-like structures are called the sporangiophores, but they are more commonly referred to as stipes. They hold up the sporangia to help disperse the spores more effectively. After the sporangia spores mature, the sporangia break open, releasing the mature spores. When the conditions are suitable, the spores can grow into a new colony and repeat the cycle all over again. Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to see more of these time lapses and microscopic videos, click the subscribe button and the bell notification down below. Please like and comment any questions or comments you have, and I'll see you in my next Microworld Illustrated video.